Hi, my name is Arthi. Hi, my name is Abby, and we're from the Mississauga Library. So today we're going to be talking about 3D printing, and once you watch this video and sign this 3D printer agreement form, you'll be able to send us your 3D print job for printing at the library. So Abby, what is 3D printing? Well, Arthi, 3D printing, also referred to as additive manufacturing, is a process where you can create a three-dimensional object from a material by building upon layers of that material. Here, we can see how the printer builds on each layer to create a ducky. 3D printing has come a long way since it was first introduced in the 1980s. You may have seen it in prosthetics, housing, even organs being 3D printed. You may also find 3D printers at schools, hospitals, and at your local library. So we've added 3D printing as a resource and service to our community because learning to use a 3D printer gives you a wealth of number one, digital literacy, number two, engineering skills, and number three, the chance to earn yourself a maker badge. So Abby, how does it even work? The 3D printer that you'll have access to is called the Ultimaker 3 and it functions similarly to other 3D printers. First, the material called filament is fed through a tube leading into a nozzle called an extruder. The extruder then heats up, melting the filament. Then it moves along an X and Y axis to build the first layer of your design. The build plate is also motorized and will move down to allow the extruder to build upon the previous layers. The Ultimaker 3 features a dual extruder system that allows you to print one print job that has two PLA colors, and that is a vegetable-based plastic material, or one print job where you can use both PLA and a PVA water-soluble support material. How about jobs with overhangs or that need a little bit of support? If your model has any overhangs, for example, maybe some dragon wings or an elephant's nose, supports would help prevent drooping while printing. Because the printer can't print on thin air, it will print some thin, brittle plastic to support ledges, lips, or overhangs. We mentioned that the Ultimaker 3 supports the use of water-soluble PVA material. You can use this material to create supports for complex designs with moving parts, for example. Once your design is complete, just let it sit in some water and those supports will start to dissolve. In addition to supports, let's go over some other parameters that you can adjust when preparing your model for printing. First, let's talk about shells. Shells are the outlines that are defining the shape of the layer. More shells make your object stronger and heavier, and they also increase print times. Next, let's talk about infill. Infill is what makes up the interior of your model. And so here, if I just give you a close-up, that is infill. More infill will make your model more solid and less will make your model lighter and quicker to build. Most basic prints only require maybe 5 to 10% infill. Lastly, let's talk about skirts, brims, and wraps, but not the kind you use in the water. These parameters vary in helping your model adhere to the build plate. We'll be able to advise on which one might best suit your model. If you're interested in tinkering with the parameters to help you better understand the process of slicing, you can go to the Ultimaker website and download a free program. It's a slicer program called Cura. However, when you're sending your files to us for printing, please, please remember that the only files that we can accept are the ones that have a .stl file extension. Got it? Got it. Go to the Ultimaker website, ultimaker.com, click on the software link, click on the link for Ultimaker Cura, and lastly, click on the download for free button, then choose the file for your computer. You'll also be able to test how changing different parameters affects how long it will take to print your job. Cura calculates the total print time for you when you slice your model. It can then export a file that instructs the 3D printer on how to 3D print your model. If you're looking for a free repository of 3D designs, that people have contributed to and released for printing, look no further than to thingiverse.com. It's a great place to download designs, to print, remix, or to get inspiration. However, if you're looking to create your own designs, Tinkercad is a great place to get started. It's a simple but powerful web-based design platform with lesson modules and a helpful community of fellow makers. So now that you know how to make your own designs, 
How do you arrange for your own custom print job at the library? So before printing your item, the library will contact you about details such as sizing, the color filament that you want, the number of models that you want printed, whether or not your item needs supports, and pricing. Please also note that there is a time limit of eight hours per print job. Once your print job is complete, your library will give you a call to arrange for a pickup. So Abby, how much does the print job cost? Now that you watch this video, there's just one last step before you can attain your 3D printing powers! Finally, if you're interested in learning more about 3D printing, please have a look at one of our electronic resources called LinkedIn Learning! If you'd like more details, please check out the video, How to Get Started with LinkedIn Learning. LinkedIn Learning hosts tons of tutorials in technology, business, and creative skill building. You can find tutorials about 3D printing, computer-aided design, and even how to optimize your prints in a slicer program. Before signing off, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our library website and social media platforms. So that's about it. If you have any questions about what we talked about today, you can check out our Maker Mississauga website at mississaugalibrary.ca slash maker or send us an email at maker at mississauga.ca. Thanks, Thanks and see you, see you next time! time.